start the video of me struggling. Oh. Thick, Aussie boy. What's that um, Mr. Olympia that everyone thinks looks like me because there's a moustache? Oh. That's me. <laughs> yeah, CPAP or whatever it is. CBUP. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another technical video. Now, I mentioned this last time, we did one, you guys had a great response to it, so I appreciate that. And you want me to do more, so it's less editing, more information based. But the difference with this episode is I have no idea what I'm doing. So, usually, people are like, how do you know how to do everything? You learn by doing. So I've never rebuilt a manual gearbox before, but in this episode, you're coming along on the ride with me as we put a new gear set in this gearbox. Alrighty, so what we've got here, a couple of episodes ago, we rebuilt the RB25. It made like another 150 horsepower, and as I suspected, second run out blew the gearbox. So third gear absolutely smashed itself. Now these are getting rare. RB25 box, you pay almost two and a half, three grand for a second hand one. So what I've decided to do is rebuild the one I've got, because then you ensure that it's brand new rather than buying one that's like probably got 100,000 Ks on it anyway. So there is a mob, oh, what are they called? Speed Tech Racing. Um, they're based in Melbourne and they actually do a gear upgrade kit for one of these. So it'll handle a lot more power. I think they say they're good for 800 brake horsepower. So that's plenty for me. They're not like a um, straight cut gearbox or a dog box or anything. They do have options like that, but I've just gone for their basic kit. So pretty much what we're gonna do today, rip this apart. Oh my God, the dog's going crazy. Rip this apart and swap the gears out. So I'm gonna have a look. Normally when I do something that I don't know about, as you pull it apart, you really wanna pay attention how it comes apart because then you know how it goes back together. So this is definitely not an instructional video. It is a figure it out as I go and see what sound comes up at the end episode. Shut up! Axel. Black boy joy, she wanna see the forms like I wanna see her form. Tell me what you for, yeah. Hey, you pay me what I'm oh yeah, yeah. Okay, hot tip number one, make sure you drain the oil. Thanks, Mitchell. <laughs> so what I expect to see behind here of taking this cover off, there'll be basically the cover that holds the end bearings on. So in here of the two gear sets, so there's probably a split ring on that one, and once that's taken off, we can probably split the box and take the whole bell housing, slide that off to get access to the gears. And then, like I said, I've never done one of these before, but you probably stand that up and you can lift the whole piece out from that. So that's your input shaft. That's a common thing that breaks. That's what I snapped on my patrol when I did a four wheel burnout. And then that's your output shaft to the back, which normally goes into a transfer case, but because this is a drift car, it just goes straight to your drive shaft spline. So. Hopefully it's fairly simple, but we'll let that drain, pull these uh, sir clips off, and we should be able to get this whole casing off. I'm that go-to when she down to come through clutch, huh? Sit brown till I'm flush time, my drip drip real plush, huh? In an empty off a blue pill. Can't grip stack of the blue cheese, turn that to a bag in a new crib. Okay, like I said, I'm just gonna be bloody figuring it out as I go, and I have figured it out. Probably doing it wrong. Every manual gearbox builder out there is probably just shaking their head right now, but, I thought the front bell housing would come off, but actually it looks like the rear comes off. This is the gear selector here. Now there was a shaft that went all the way through and that's what I could see at the other end. There's obviously a heap of forks along there which select the gears. So, pushed a little split pin out of that, which got that off, which means hopefully this back end will come off. Nah. Oh, maybe. Yeah, boy. All right. Oh yeah. So back casing's off. It looks like you can stand this up and there's a few bolts that undo on this here. There's like a cover and that'll slide the main shafts out. But looks like that's just reverse gear or fifth maybe. The smashed ones will be in here somewhere. Okay, now a couple of these bearings look like they're gonna be a slight interference fit. They've either been pressed on or heated up and dropped on and they've like kind of sucked on. Gave them a little pry, but without too much pressure, they weren't popping off. So, got the bearing puller here, which I'll put on with a claw and it will pull that top bearing off. Um, all the um, locking tabs are off. So once this top bearing's off and this one's off, both these reverse gears will slide up and then this whole shifter assembly will come up and then we'll be able to access these bolts, slide the casing off and hopefully get the gears out. Alrighty, fun fact, my bloody bearing puller is like 10 mil too short to pull those gears off. So I'm gonna undo the other end of the casing and the whole gear set will come out. 
We still have to find a way to disassemble it, but at least we can see what's going on and see what happened to that third gear. Bro, I'm just, just cut the end off. Just cut the end off. Yeah. Well, we're not going to need it, are we? No. Oh, yeah. All right, this is where it's heavy. Oh. I hear bits of metal in there already. Crack it. Yeah, mate, it's got a neutral third gear. That's fucking So crazy. you can obviously see what third gear did. Here's the teeth. <laughs> so I haven't got the kit yet, but I assume you get a full, either a gear set or you get the full shafts. But we need to be able to press that gear off so all this comes off, undo this plate, and then you can get the middle piece out. So we'll see what the new one comes with, then work out how to pull it apart, because I don't really want to do it now because I won't be able to remember how it goes together, especially there's all these little, I don't know what they're called, they're like little flicker gears in there for the synchros. I've done this before and like you have to kind of pull it apart and then quickly throw it back together before you forget how it goes. So I might just leave it at this stage until we see what we get in the new kit and then swap it over from there. But there's your problem. <laughs> that is, it is, isn't it? Not bad. Alrighty, finally the package has arrived. So we've got some stuff from Speed Tech here. These are the new gears. Now, the reason that I got these ones, like mentioned at the start of the video, they can handle a lot more power. Obviously the metology in this is different um, and they can handle up to 800 brake horsepower. So we found the Smash third gear in this box. Now that I've got these ones, I can start pulling it apart. What I did off camera is take two of these bearings off that were pressed on. Uh, so I just had to use a puller and mess around with that a little bit. So now what I'm gonna do is line up each set of gears as it comes off in that order. I can see which ones are going to be replaced. This one's obviously one piece gear set that's been machined. That's this one here. So that one's pretty simple. Um, the other ones are actually all separate gears that need to go onto this shaft. So the main input and out shaft shaft we are keeping and just slotting on the different gears in there obviously we're not touching fifth gear and we're not touching reverse so let's pull it apart and hope i remember how it all goes back together Okay, now I've got everything laid out in order that it came apart. So obviously when I reassemble it, I know how it all goes back together. Now that was actually quite difficult. Obviously being the first time I pulled apart a manual transmission, it's kind of, you're working it out as you go. So there was a lot of pressing involved. Um, I managed to get an exploded view of how the gears go together to work out basically how they disassemble. But we've got our main uh, input shaft here. Um, we're gonna be replacing a full gear set from um, Speed Tech. And I've also got a uh, new third, fourth, first and second gears as well. So I'm gonna wait till it's fully together to kind of show you how a gearbox works and how the synchros mesh up the gears, but pretty much all these synchros need to be removed from the old gears, placed onto the new ones. Um, and I wanna quickly try and put this thing together. I'm gonna be using bits of pipe to basically use the press and basically stack the gears as I reassemble it. Pretty much reverse the order I did when I pulled it apart. I may have to heat up some of the gears to help the spline stuff go over because that gets a little bit tight because it's a bit of an interference fit. Um, but you really just wanna take your time with these sort of things. Um, the guys from Speed Tech actually did send me that manual. The details of how to put it together is not super detailed. It's kind of like, oh, I'll do this one next and this one next, and it's sort of pretty self-explanatory. But I'm gonna give it my best shot um, and pretty much get the gearbox back together. Now, I'm not replacing any gears um, or any bearings or any bits and pieces like that, which you can do, but in my case, all the bearings still feel pretty good, so it's really just changing and upgrading those gears. Um, and yeah, hopefully, the way I've laid it out is correct, but all it takes is one little shim to be around the wrong way 
and it can pretty much not go into gear properly. So we'll start by assembling all the individual gears themselves, like get this one put together, get that one put together, and then do the whole shaft. And once it starts going back into the casing, that's when it's pretty much the point of no return. So let's just see how it works. Okay, we're at the halfway-ish mark. It got a little bit complicated at the end there because this back gear section just floats on there and the second gear kind of holds it all together. So you kind of got to knock it all on as one. Um, but the main one's in there now. So all this backside I think is together. It looks like the synchros are right. Everything's spinning fine. Um, so now we want to start working on this side. So we put the speedo drive on, um, reverse gear, and I think fifth is on this side as well. Basically just press all these on the way we came off and it should be gears assembled. So because I've done this all within the same day, I can sort of remember how it came apart and put it back together. But I can feel like if you did this a week apart from each other, you'd probably forget how it goes. Even though I do have instructions, it's sort of more of a guide because it's not very comprehensive, but it has helped me a little bit, just making sure the direction and the orientation of all the gears and all the shims and that. But it's feeling good so far. So we'll see if it blows up after the first couple of runs, eh? Okay, just a quick interruption to let you all know that I did this three times. So the first time I put this on and forgot this reverse gear. Now once that sleeve's on, you can't get that gear on. So then I pulled it off with the puller, put the gear on, put it back on again. Then I forgot you have this little shaft which can't go in when that gear's on. So then I had to pull it all off again, push the shaft out, reassemble it, put this shaft in, then that gear, then that spacer. So it's all about getting it in the exact order. I've done this three or four times now, so hopefully we got it right and I didn't forget anything else. Now the back side's pretty much done, so all those new gears that we got from Speed Tech are in there now. This side's really just for reverse um, and fifth gear, so they're not getting upgrades because they're just what you're going for reverse and stuff. And pretty much then we can start putting the casing back together and get it back in the car. So the light's at the end of the tunnel now, but it's been a bit of a mission the last couple of hours redoing the work. It's never fun when you have to redo stuff you just did. Alrighty, so I got a bit carried away and put the whole thing together. I got in the absolute zone last night and just got the thing back together. So. All the selectors and that work. Um, I kind of wanted to show you how the gearbox shifting happens, but it's sort of hard to see. There's basically a slip ring and the little synchros are like these mesh gears that sit just before the main gear. So as you're shifting gears, it kind of helps the gears spin in the right speed for it to slot on. And when your foot's on the clutch, there's no resistance on them, so it can shift easily. Um, it's sort of hard to show, but we're pretty much gonna get this thing back together now and back in the car because I've got drifting literally this weekend. So old gears are out, new ones are in, good for 800 horsepower. So hopefully that was a little bit of a, I mean, it wasn't an instructional video. It's the first time I've ever done one, so it's more just figuring out as we go. But of course, if you like these videos, please comment down below and let me know. They're little extra episodes we're chucking in. Less editing, more about the technical side um, and just a bit more detailed stuff about some of the things we do at Built Not Bought. So throw this thing together and hopefully it doesn't blow up in the future.